Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And it's the latest DC film to speed its way into theaters. My review of the 2023 superhero action film, The Flash, coming up now. Barry Allen is still hard at work with the Justice League, mostly doing cleanup work while the other heroes, such as Batman and Wonder Woman, are fighting the big battles. He soon discovers he's able to run through time and wonders if he'd be able to change his past, where his mother was murdered in a home invasion and his father has been wrongfully imprisoned for it, even though Bruce Wayne warns him how it could affect the reality they're currently living in. Barry avoids Bruce's advice and tries anyway, and is successful with his mission. However, he meets up with his 18-year-old self just before General Zod is about to land on Earth in this reality with no superheroes in sight. Now the two versions of Barry search for help so they can try to save the future. So what did I think of The Flash? I thought it's a breezy and enjoyable action superhero film. It's directed by Andy Muschietti, best known for directing films like Mama, It, and It Chapter 2. With the popularity of Marvel's multiverse films, such as the Spider-Verse films, Spider-Man No Way Home, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and also Everything Everywhere All at Once, we get a look here at DC's version of a multiverse, which gives us some interesting ideas. The CGI here is very hit and miss. While some of the lightning effects look good, a lot of the elements in the Speed Force look wonky, and a certain scene with babies looks very questionable. The action sequences are all entertaining, from the opening rescue mission, chase scenes, and of course a big time final battle. I liked a lot of the time-traveling aspects of the film, even if it hits a lot of the usual genre tropes, and the two versions of Barry work pretty well, although I could see how some audience members would think the younger version would come off as annoying. There's a decent story to tell between these two versions. I wish the film spent a little more time in Barry's actual reality, as aspects like Iris West get a bit shortchanged. Obviously, a big part of the film is the return of Michael Keaton's Batman, who's in a decent amount, and it is awesome seeing him back in action, complete with the Batmobile and Danny Elfman's classic theme. I also enjoyed the addition of Supergirl, even if her story gets a bit rushed at times as well. Much of the comedy luckily works, because there's a lot of it, and a highlight is a running joke about Back to the Future. There are some surprisingly touching moments as well, dealing with Barry and his mother, and some of the decisions he has to make, which becomes emotional. There is a ton of fan service here, and you can almost feel the pauses that were put in for applause from viewers. There's also a lot of cameos, which made me worry, but they're all done well, so it's not just a big Easter egg hunt. Try to stay away from spoilers as much as possible for these appearances, because they're nice surprises. Considering the upcoming relaunch of the whole DC cinematic universe, I feel like this could be a standalone film that would work as a reset or could carry over fine for more adventures. There's also one end credit scene if you feel the need to stick around. The cast stars Ezra Miller as Barry Allen slash The Flash, the forensic investigator and member of the Justice League who can move at superhuman speeds, Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne slash Batman, the wealthy socialite who used to moonlight as the vigilante. Ben Affleck also gives us his version of Bruce and Batman as well. Sasha Kaye as Kara slash Supergirl, the Kryptonian with similar abilities to Superman. Michael Shannon as General Zod, the Kryptonian general who's come to Earth in search of Kara. Kier C. Clemens as Iris West, the journalist who becomes Barry's love interest, and Ron Livingston and Maribel Verdu as Henry and Nora Allen, Barry's parents. The Flash is a fun and nostalgic romp and a very entertaining multiverse flick. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of 
do it. And a high, do it at that. Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.